All righty. This is U-Pose Raptor Liner from TCP Global in the, out of California. Uh, their measurements are off. That net ounces is 24 on that bottle right there. Reading in the instructions, let's see if I can zoom in pretty close. It says 28 ounces, which is two pints. That ain't two pints. Uh, it says one and a half pints, which is 21 ounces, mix six ounces of hardener. If it's 28 ounces, eight ounces of hardener. So you're going to need seven ounces of hardener for each one of those containers, according to their mixing ratio. And it says shoot between 40 and 60 pounds of pressure right there in the middle. So I'm a little disappointed they ain't more in there because $300 for a kit to spray a full-size truck bed is six quarts is what they say. This is eight quarts, two full gallons with this, and it calls for a thinner, but I hadn't seen anywhere on there where a thinner was available to buy. And it would be three to one ratio if they did have some thinner for it. But anyhow, I'll deal temperatures is, you know, above 58 degrees, uh, 68 degrees. So humidity less than 60. So that ain't today because it's raining. Uh, temperature is going to be low the next few days. So it might be a little bit before I get to this and I'll probably shoot a video on it. But it comes with a pretty looking chop gun. If anybody knows, it's got a plastic handle though. That's not too good. But it does have an adjustable nozzle tip. So it's got a regulator. Uh, usually your air compressors, your smaller ones are already set regulated where they won't pump over 100 pounds. CFM's usually around 17. So you're gonna have to make sure your pressure stays constant bigger compressor the better it is uh i got a seven horsepower here and i think a 10 at the shop so but probably spray it at the shop do the bed and if we got some left over we'll do the bottom of the rockers on both sets of the doors so three hundred dollars to the door and our local line x dealer quoted me $550 to do my truck for the labor and the time it's going to take to scratch this stuff up. They used 36 grit when they did my 250 truck bed and it cost less than $500. Uh, Might have been slowed down business when he quoted me $550. I don't know. I've been told $650 at the one in Pelham. This was the one in Trustville, Alabama. So drop it off, leave it with them, pick it up the next day or the next day. This stuff here says drying time two or three days. Uh, so there's a lot of information to go over and to get and prep and the velocity information, which should be MSDS, but it's not. But that's the application. That's just the mixing, plain and simple. Uh, seven ounces per bottle don't go eight might dry too quick and flash time you can recoat and touch up after an hour uh, like I said dry time is several days though so don't be in a hurry make sure it's sunny and cool not too hot because it will blister also and they do have some you can add color to but that's enough of me rambling on three hundred dollars for a truck bed liner that you're going to do yourself of some raptor the higher the pressure sprayed out the better it lays down and looks right so we'll dust it and see and we'll throw it on and get a pattern in a video Maybe this might help somebody because it might be cheaper to get the original Rhino people to do it or Line X. Depends on your pocketbook and what you want to do. So, But like I said, you do get a nice chop gun and you get to wash it out. This should be uh, chemically hardened, two-part epoxy. So you're going to have to wash your gun out with acetone or lacquer thinners. So just keep that in mind. Some of the other 
uh, trunk spray liners they used to have was water-based and you can wash the stuff out, keep your containers, you can do other paints in them and undercoats and stuff like that. But that's neither here nor there. Alrighty, appreciate it.